Now we're going to talk about sorting algorithms in C++, including bubble sort, selection sort, and insertion sort. Now, before we start coding, let's understand the concepts of bubble sort, selection sort, and insertion sort. These algorithms are comparison based and work by repeatedly swapping or selecting elements until the data is sorted. Each algorithm has its own approach and efficiency characteristics. Let's begin by implementing bubble sort in C++. In this code snippet, we include the IO stream and vector header files. The vector header file provides a dynamic array like container and the IO stream header file enables input and output operations. We define a function called bubble sort that takes a reference to a vector as a parameter. This function implements the bubble sort algorithm. Inside the bubble sort function, we initialize a variable n with the size of the input array. We use two nested loops to iterate through the array and compare adjacent elements. If an element is greater than its adjacent element, we swap them using the std swap function. In the main function, we create a vector called data and initialize it with unsorted data elements or unsorted elements. To sort the vector using bubble sort, we call the bubble sort function passing data as the argument. Finally, we print the sorted array using a range-based for loop and stdcout. Now let's move on to implementing selection sort in C++. In this code, we include the IO stream and vector header files as before. We define a function called selection sort that takes a reference to a vector as a parameter. This function implements the selection sort algorithm. Inside the selection sort function, we initialize a variable n with the size of the input array. We use the two nested loops to iterate through the array and find the minimum element in the unsorted position. We then swap the minimum element with the first unsorted element using the std swap function. In the main function, we create a vector called data and initialize it with unsorted elements. To sort the vector using selection sort, we call the selection sort function passing data as the argument. Finally, we print the sorted array using range-based for loop and stdcout. Lastly, let's explore the implementation of insertion sort in C++. In this code, we include the IO stream and vector header files as before. We define a function called insertion sort that takes a reference to a vector as a parameter. This function implements the insertion sort algorithm. Inside the insertion sort function, we initialize a variable n with the size of the input array. We iterate through the array starting from the second element. For each element, we compare it with the element to its left and shift them to the right until we find the correct position for the element. We then insert the element at its correct position. In the main function, we create a vector called data and initialize it with the unsorted elements. To sort the vector using insertion sort, we call the insertion sort function passing data as the argument. Finally, we print the sorted array using a range-based for loop and std cout. 